Pop artist Andy Warhol may be known for his pop art of both celebrities and soup cans, but he was also influenced by nature, creating more than 10,000 images of flowers over the course of his career. And now his work is brought to life in a new exhibition at Marie Selby Botanical Gardens in Sarasota. President and CEO Jennifer Ramanecki joins me today with the details. I'm captivated by the video there. Wonderful. Good morning, good, morning. good morning. to see you again. Great to see you. This is a big deal to have this exhibit here. It is, it's really exciting because it's an unexpected way of looking at such a beloved American American pop icon. Yes, which, and I think people are going to be surprised to know when you think of Andy Warhol, you do, you think of those celebrities and the soup cans. You do. Who knew he had all this nature as well? It's really surprising when you look at it, and it's really a reason that Selby Gardens decided to explore this yeah. artist to really uncover this shocking tie yeah. that he has to nature. So explain, if people haven't been to the gardens yet, explain how the setup is and how this exhibit works. Is it just part of where the gardens are? Is it the entire, you know, kind of campus, as you would say? So it's actually gardens wide and it's interdisciplinary, combining garden and nature and horticulture displays with original artworks by Andy Warhol, as well as archival photographs of Andy Warhol. So there is nature. some original pieces there? Absolutely. Wow. There, there are a number of original artworks, all featuring mm -hmm. botanical imagery and the whimsy of the way he conveyed botanical imagery, which is really a lot of fun to see. Well, and it is pretty interesting. You're, it's kind of surprising, you know, Andy Worrell had this connection with nature, but so many artists, if not all, I feel, have some kind of connection and inspiration from art outside, right? That's what That's right. gardens are. That's right. And really what we're doing is looking at that lens to connect people to nature, the mm -hmm. lens of an artist's relationship. Yeah to nature and horticulture, gardening, nature has been a strong theme throughout the history mm -hmm. of art. And it's really a great way to open up people's mm -hmm. eyes and connect with nature. And in our case, the gardens displays and the conservatory displays, what our team did was really decide what if Warhol could paint with plants? Ah, that is what our team did. Cool. And there are some key tenets to Warhol's work. He was very focused on the repetition of images the grid formation, groups of four, and modular form along with bright pops of color. And that has been conveyed throughout our conservatory and throughout our grounds, those very key tenets to his work. Now, is this a traveling exhibit or can people see this anywhere else in the country? I mean, it actually, it is not a traveling exhibit. It's originated at Selby Gardens and it's the first time Andy Warhol has been studied with garden displays. And, and it, it really is, it's very exciting and it's a very unique approach to this mm -hmm. much beloved and very, you know, well studied artist. I'd imagine it was a big deal to get the approval to use these pieces to do this. Yes, and so the original artwork um, are on loan uh, mainly from Williams College Museum of Art. Okay. Um, and we worked with the Andy Warhol Foundation okay. and the Warhol Museum on securing the ability to, to showcase mm -hmm. archival photographs of Warhol in nature. So we have photos of, of Andy skiing, Andy rowing a boat, Andy out in the forest, which is really surprising because yeah. the visitor typically thinks of Andy Warhol in his studio in Manhattan. Yeah in the groovy 60s, yeah. and so this is a very unexpected way of looking at him. What do you hope people kind of gather from this when they come through, and certainly as a botanical garden, I mean, it is, it, it's an art form as well, but what do you hope people kind of take away from this when they come and visit? Well, what we really want is for people to just appreciate the significance of nature and its importance. Mm -hmm. And I think that for visitors, looking at Andy Warhol and, and discovering his love of nature is yeah. a very um, exciting and new way of tying the visitor to nature. All right, well, let's give away kind of times and details right. uh, so people can come out and see this, how long it is gonna be around for a couple more week, uh, weeks, right? That's right, so it's on right now, straight through June 30th. And um, we're open every day, seven mm -hmm. days a week. Uh, 10 to 5, and we also have lots of exciting programs during the run of the show. We have evening viewings of the show we're calling Warhol Nights, yeah. 
with different Sarasota performing arts groups performing. We have Andy's Art Factory Saturdays, okay. which are fun for kids and family activities with interactive arts activities for the kids to tie to Warhol. Okay, cool. So we have lots of really dynamic programming throughout the run. Well, congrats on getting this up and running here in our area. We're so blessed to have this here, and we look forward to having you back to see what else is in store after this, because we, we know there's something up your sleeve. Thank you so much. I'd love yep. to come back. All right. Well, we'll make sure and put the details on our website as well.